right, everybody, it's time for another fruit that was kindly sent to me by uh, Matt and Megan over in Seattle. So again, Matt and Megan, thank you so much for sending me these uh, delicious fruits. As I mentioned in the last episode, if you didn't see it, these are things that are often grown as uh, an ornamental, but they can be eaten. And this is one that's pretty interesting to me because it's related to uh, wintergreen berries or tea berries, which I had in, uh, in the past in Montreal. And it's also related to uh, the Salal, which I had a while back. So it's exciting to try other species of that genus, because this is one that I've only recently had, and getting to try things that are related to it while it's still kind of like sort of fresh in my mind is, uh, is always good. So there is a white variety, a red variety, and a pink variety that was sent to me. Matt and Megan believe that the red one is Pernetia Mucronata. I'm sure I'm saying that very wrong. Uh, and they believe the white one might be Pernetia Pumilia. And the pink one they think might be a hybrid of the two. They weren't sure, but uh, that is what they suspect. So they're all uh, closely related, but they are probably different species. American wintergreen, which I reviewed, uh, and the salal, those are grown to be cultivated. People grow them and they eat them. These are varieties that people do not eat, so that might be for a reason. They might be delicious. I, I have no idea. So I'm going to start things off. Let's start with the white one. Bland. They don't really taste like much of anything. Maybe like a hint of sweetness to it, but really not a whole lot. Uh, no sourness to it. No flavor, really. It just tastes almost like if you took like an apple and sucked out like all the sweetness, all the sourness, and all but the slightest amount of flavor. It's like a little bit like a little bit of apple taste in there, but very, very minute. Okay, so let's move up to the red ones. Again, very mild, but these ones do have sweetness to them. On a level of 1 to 10, where 10 is a sugar cube, this is pretty low, but I say like a 3. There's no tartness to it. There's a little bit of an herbal taste to it, like maybe like a little bit like oregano. Still like a little apple-y, but an apple with a little bit more flavor. These are related to American wintergreen, which I reviewed in the past, and those taste like wintergreen. You know, kind of like that, like mint, or like a little bit like root beer. This doesn't really taste like that, except for one small thing about it. Like, wintergreen tastes a little bit like, uh, a little waxy. A little bit like wax lips. Actually, wax lips I found are actually flavored with uh, wintergreen, so that makes sense, but you know, American wintergreen. This reminds me a little bit of wax lips, <laughs> but not so much of wintergreen, if that makes any sense. So I think like a little bit of that waxy taste, maybe like a resiny taste that would come with wintergreen also exists in these but not the flavor that you expect. Not like, oh, this is like root beer. Only like very, very remotely, it has like some sort of property that is in both. Not sure if that makes sense. So finally, let me try the pink ones. Those uh, actually do taste like a cross between the two <laughs> because the, the sweetness is less. Instead of being a 3 out of 10, this is more like a 1 or 2. You know, it's, it's a little less sweet, a little less flavorful. It's got a little bit more crispiness to it. The texture of the white one is a little crispier than the red one, and this one is somewhere between the two. It tastes like the red one, but uh, a little milder. It's not bad, it's just uh, not super flavorful. You know, if you had these growing, you can pick them and make like a jam out of it, and you can blend all of these together in that, and it would be fine. It would be like maybe like a little bit of um, like an apple 
jam. So standalone, this is not like the most amazing thing that I've had, but uh, as a comparison to all these things, um, that's super interesting and tricky to find too. Like it's not something that you're gonna find at the store. You gotta know you've got it and um, getting a chance to try these three different uh, species together is uh, super interesting. So uh, I'm really excited to have gotten a chance to do this even though the flavor is not like nuts or anything. Uh, that is pretty cool. So uh, again, Matt and Megan, thank you so much for sending me these things. That was super fun and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.